Hello, I am Bob Dickinson of InnoVice, and we're going to be talking about pumps and the rules for pumps in InfoSwim, H2O Map Swim, and Swim 5. A pump is a line that connects a wet well, and the wet well can be a constant depth or constant area or a variable area, depending on the shape type, and it has an invert elevation and a maximum depth. The pump itself can be a variety of pumps. It can be an ideal pump, which is basically sets the outflow of the pump equal to the inflow at the wet well, or it can be a pump curve. If it's a pump curve, it can be a pump that's rated by volume, depth, head flow, depth flow. Normally you will be using type pumped curve 3 for um, dynamic head pumps. There's also a few rules for the t turning on of the pumps. We have a startup depth and a shutoff depth in the wet well. In addition, there's RTC rules that are, are additional rules. So in addition, we have another RTC rule with the depth reaches a certain elevation. It, it sets the pump setting to point, point 0.6. So it runs at a, a, a variable speed for, for that particular depth. Downstream of the pump, if it goes to a force main, you would have the force main connected to a, to a pressure node. And pressure node is defined by the surcharge depth. Then, of course, in the force main, you have the force main toggle, and then either Hazen Williams or Darcy Weisbach. So let's go ahead and solve this and see what the pump looks like. So we run, and now we can graph the uh, pump. And we see the speed ratio is the setting. We also can look at the flow. We can look at the head gain. We can look at the upstream head and the power of the, of the pump. Additionally, there is a pump a pump table. So we go down to pump summary table, and it tells us the maximum flow of the pump, how many times the pump turned on, the average flow, percent utilized, how many times um, the pump was off the curve, etc. And also inside of InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim, there's another graph that you can look at, which is the pump operation curve. And that shows you, over time, where the pump is on the curve. So now you see the little dots. So that's a little bit about the rules in for pumps in InfoSwim, H2O Map Swim, and Swim 5. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we're going to move on to another uh, pump video in a few minutes. Thank you.